<sighs> another day, another package. Get the fuck off. Oh, I was gonna say. All right, guys, so hopefully we didn't stuff up the order process this time. I think I know what this is. I think this is just batteries and props from the same company, from Hobby King. Let's check this out. Money shot. Yeah. All right, so we've got some, these are Dell props. These are legit Dell props as well. Looks like the ones that I bought from Banggood were fake as fuck. These look completely different. So we've got Dell props. These should be 5045s. Yes, they are. Pro blades. We've got heaps of those. Then we've got some 5045 bullnose props as well. I think we've got like 10 pairs of each. Anyway. We've got plenty of props. We also picked up some extra Turnergy graphene batteries. These should be the 1500 milliamp batteries. Yes, they are. Man, these things are amazing. Anyway, so we've got three more of those. These are worth like 40 bucks each. The props were, oh man, for like 10 pairs, I think it was 10 bucks or 20 bucks. 10 pairs, 20 bucks. All right, let's get back into it. Wait, wait, there's more. Another parcel has just arrived. these oh tbs triumph this is an aerial for the uh quadcopter i can get this fucker open oh man they're stubby aerials these are tiny all right so apparently these have a cap on them like you guys have seen the other aerials that i have these ones have a cap on them so they're a little bit more hard wearing they don't flex very much oh uh, they do flex a little bit more hard wearing in a crash so we've got some TBS Triumph aerials. This is a little 45 degree adapter for the FPV goggles. Another Fat Shark battery case. A little eight millimeter tool to put on the props on the quadcopter. And this, I actually don't know what this is. What? <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, finally, a fucking FPV camera. And I've ordered two of these. I'm still waiting for the original one that I ordered like two months ago. So I ended up ordering one that was here in Australia. How the fuck do you open this box? There's no, there's no seams on this box. There it is. All right. So, fuck. Oh. <laughs> All right. So here it is. This is the Foxy Monster V2 FPV camera. Now this has a three, uh, it has a 2.7, sorry, 2.5 millimeter lens. I have ordered a 2.1 and a 1.8 millimeter lens to to give it more of a field of view, to, to widen up the field of view. So I'll make things look further away, but I think it'll be a lot easier to fly. Man, I'm so glad this has arrived. Oh, finally. <sighs> All right, next package. All right, so I've just put the 45 degree connector on my FPV goggles, so that's what it looks like. Before, previously, this patch antenna used to face outwards, so you'd be looking at the quad and it would be facing that way, and it just didn't make sense. So this is actually a pretty cool little addition. So this is a Fat Shark headset battery case. So this is an actual Fat Shark battery, all right? Now, apparently, these are, these are so bad that Fat Shark, yes, the actual manufacturer of these batteries released just the case for you to put your own batteries into. That. <laughs> <laughs> that is so unbelievably funny. Anyway, this takes 18650 batteries, so anyone that vapes knows exactly what they are. They're those tiny little... I should have some here. Here they are, 18650 batteries. We've got plenty of these lying around, so these are perfect. Yeah. All right, so we're still waiting on replacement motors to arrive. Talk about speak of the devil. Just got back from the post office. They just sent this. Look familiar? This is the second FPV camera. Foxy Monster V2. Nice. Oh, very, very nice. Day two. The next day, we've just got another package in. Oh yeah. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> All right, so we've got more motors in for the quadcopter and we've got some spares in and we've got some more spares in. 
just in case because I know I'm going to be crashing this thing a lot while I'm trying to film for the channel for you guys. These are these motors are 25 bucks each, and I've got some different ones. I've got some 2300 kilovolts and some 2600 kilovolt. Not sure which ones are which, but anyway, motors are in. Let's go. Ooh. Oh my god, <sighs> mate, Rouse Hill Mackers. We're coming down here to meet a subscriber right now. His name's Sean, and he's been doing some. Um, where is he, bro? He drives. He drives a fucking Honda Integra Type R. I actually want to ask him if I can drive his car. <laughs> oh, bro! What? Oh, mate! There it is. Fucking hell! It's a legit Type R. <laughs> mate, bro. <laughs> How you going, man? Good, bro. Good, good. Bro, type R. What the fuck? I know, right? I know. This thing is, this thing is fucking sick, man. Hey, you can drive it if you want. Are you kidding? I was just saying at the lights. So I was like, bro, how am I gonna convince this guy to drive his car? You have to, man. Like, honestly. Are you serious, bro? Let's cut to that right now. That's fucking mad, man. Bro, Type R, what the fuck, man? This car is fucking sick, bro. Like, one of my mates used to have one of these cars back in the day when he used to work at Domino's, and, mate, they fucking pull like fucking demon. Anyway, let's go. Just finished up having sushi with Sean. Bro, he's totally gonna let me drive his car, man. Just gonna go park the bike up at the servo. Yeah, we're gonna drive a fucking Type R, bro. I haven't driven one of these things for like, I don't know, 15, maybe 10 years? 10, 15 years, like back in the day when I used to work at Domino's. One of the uh, other managers that I worked with, he had a Type R like when they first came out. This thing was off, it's fucking brain powerful, dude. That VTEC, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kid yourself man, the Type R Integra is a very powerful car. It's got nothing on the R1 though. <laughs> nice. Jesus Christ, that thing is clean as fuck, mate. I need to get a thumbnail, hold on. <laughs> We've even got bonnet clips on this thing. Keep all the rice in the engine bay. All right, bro, I'm gonna give you the camera. Yep. All right, I've done this once before yep. with Brendan, one of my subscribers at Jaker, and he fucked up because he wasn't vlogging when I gave him the camera. So I'm gonna give you the opportunity to talk to my subscribers, tell them about your car. Go, yep. here you go. Sweet, so this is my 2000 Integra Type R. Yes, she's genuine and no, it's not a fake. She's actually one of 12 that we imported to Australia by Honda. Wait, one of 12? One of 12. Uh, why is that? There was a, an event called Young Guns yep. that was in Queensland. Yep. It was basically a Honda supported event where Honda imported 12 of these bad boys for a race with a bunch of young stars so like marcus ambrose people for they were really oh, wow. big so this is one of the 12 that was imported and actually race prepared so the reason why those bonnet clips are there um part that was part of the race preparation so you didn't do that no i didn't do that that was Bro, actually that part is legit that was part of the preparation if i go around um just on here for all you hardcore fanboys um right here is a kill switch that was also a part of one of the things i had to install for safety so that's a fire suppression um, so click that, obviously it disconnects your battery, cuts it out in case, you know, something goes that wrong. That is crazy, man. The more you know. It's not bad, All right, eh? anyway, all right, all right, go, show, yeah. us the, show us the car. Okay, I'm running stock everything, um, apart from a few things, stock suspension, stock rims, stock tires, everything. For any of you hardcore Honda fanboys, I've also got a genuine JDM spec Mugen muffler twin loop. That sounds absolute kick-ass. Do you want me to pop the bonnet? Yeah, dude. What do I need to do? Just give me two seconds. Oh, yeah. Bonnet switch. There you go. Obviously the favorite bit of all you JDM fanboys. Oh, thanks bro. So, 
for you hardcore GDM fanboys as well. It is a stock B18C7. I have installed custom <laughs> duct tape. Duct tape. Actually, straight from Bunnings. That is completely custom made <laughs> by me. Um, <laughs> man, bro, you're out of control. That's you need to fix extra horsepower, man. Bro, you Can't need to it. fix that. No, I'm you can cold air intake, genuine cold air intake, none of this pod stuff people talk about. Apart from that, though, it's completely bone stock, stock headers, stock bottoms, stock everything. That's mad. Thank you so much, Sean, for showing us the Honda Integra Type R. No worries, bro. Thank you also for the keys. <laughs> bro, Type R. We are totally about to take this car for a drive. Let's do it, bro. Jump in. Let's go for a drive. Man, your like, window tint is like super reflective. Dumb as fuck. I know. It's reflective as shit. Yeah, man. All right. Ew. Oh, here we go. Did you see that? How did you see that guy looking at my bike just then? Yeah. 100%. Subscriber, you're Yeah, hard. 100%, bro. He's seen my bike and he's going, oh my god, is that Adrian Nickelodeon? Yeah. Where's Adrian? Where is he? What's he doing in a fucking cage, cunt? <laughs> <laughs> and. Whatever you want to do, man. Jump the fucking seat back. Honda Integra Type R. So, four seater. Boot space is actually quite big in the back. Alright, let's mount this on my head. <laughs> Dude, the fucking oh my god, bro, the VTEC when it kicks in. Woo! Jesus. I'm gonna have to go like putter around in first gear so I don't break the speed limit. your fucking car dude this thing is a fucking weapon how long are you gonna keep this thing for as long as i can as long as you can as long as i can yeah, yeah. nothing of selling it anytime soon man you don't you don't see many of them around that yeah. are like you know undestroyed or you know hugely modified yeah exactly like an original type r you never see them so. yeah man this is a neat example as well it's like my own little collector's car man. yeah dude you've definitely taken care of this thing bro we just all right we just <laughs> finished the drive just got back to the bike and there's a little note on my bike. Remember that guy? Remember that guy that was walking into the servo before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I 100% reckon he's left something on my bike. Like, probably. <laughs> Fanboy. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the Integra Type R test ride from my, from subscriber Sean. Wait, no. Why? I, I came and met up with you for a reason today. Fuck yeah. Bro, what the fuck? The whole we completely to forgot. We've gone for a test ride. Okay, so, all right, long story short, guys. So, I am building a, a quadcopter, a drone, right? I got in contact with, I did, didn't get in contact with anyone. I put my feelers out there to my subscriber base, see if anyone had a 3D printer. And guess who came through with a 3D printer? My boy, Sean here. His dad actually has a, a 3D printer. He's printed up some little parts for me. So, have you got them? Where yeah, are they? Yeah, got them right here, man. So, this is carbon fiber 3D print, guys. It's a lot tougher than the, what was the other stuff called? PLA. PLA, yeah. yeah, a lot tougher than the PLA, and it actually looks like the finish is a lot better on this as well. So that's one piece. This is actually an experiment. Some edges are slightly sort of warped, but overall, you don't get that you know shitty scaffolding left over. Right, okay. It's, uh, it looks a lot cleaner because you get sharp bits that are left over from those scaffolding prints because they because it's obviously molded to the actual body itself as well. You pick it off and it leaves sharp bits. Man, at the end of the day, dude, like even, I know 3D printing isn't always the best, like you can see there, guys. Like, it's not always the best, but at the end of the day, this is going onto a drone, like a quadcopter, sorry. It's gonna be like 150 meters up, sorry, what's the standard for CASA? 120 meters 120. up in the air, and it's gonna get crashed a lot. So at the end of the day, you can see the warping just there because it didn't have the scaffolding. It actually doesn't look too bad. Dude, hooked up. Thank you so much, bro. Rose, man, I really do good. appreciate it, man. Bro, so like, your dad's like fully like, because because Sean's dad saw that he was printing up all of this and I gave him like the quadcopter frame as yeah. well. His dad's like fully like wanting to build a quadcopter. So can you pass on a message to your dad for me? Yep. Tell him to watch all of the videos in the description of this video yep. because it's going to be a full build series. If anyone else out there as well wants to know how to build a quadcopter at home or a drone at home, I'm going to go through my entire build series and like what I learned while I was putting everything together and all of the stuff that I encountered. Parts list, like the whole lot, it's all going to be down in the description below. So, see you guys there.